Hey everyone, welcome back to the Microwave Lab, and this is going to be a quick video about why you shouldn't measure power while you're connected to an antenna, or why you should only use a dummy load to measure power. And the reason for that is because because an antenna with an SW, a non-ideal SWR uh, of one, greater than one will, uh, could possibly skew your your power measurement readings. So first, uh, we're going to use the Micronta here, and we're using the uh, GE Help Emergency CB Radio because it has a, a verified 4 watt dead key, which is what we're going to be looking at here. And uh, I've got my 50 ohm dummy load. We're going to first connect this, and I'm going to do SWR Cal, and uh, I think it just calibrated a minute ago. But uh, we'll just do that again. You know, 4 watt dead key and an SWR of 1, uh, as we'd expect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to plug in a, this is a 100, this is just a resistor on a little dongle here and this is a 100 watt Let's check the color code, yep, 100 watt resistor and so, or 100 watt, 100 ohm uh, resistor and uh, we're going to see how this affects our SWR and our power measurement so we'll key and we'll set and SWR is about one, about 1 1.9 and I'm trying to keep this, uh, I was looking at the SWR but we'll measure power again you can see the power jumped up, we're looking at about 5 watts so with, you know what's going on here? Well, what's what's happening is SWR or standing wave ratio uh, has to do with uh, power reflected versus power uh, for, forward power uh, power transmit transmitted and reflected or forward and reflected. And so when when waves are reflected, they they become standing waves on the line. And so with it with a low end meter like this, not to say this micronta meter isn't any good, but with a a simple meter like this, uh, the, the meter is measuring the total power on the line and that can be, that's obviously affected by the standing waves so the forward power is only 4 watts out of this radio but uh, with the that SWR of 2 we gained a little bit and now it was uh, 5 watts so, or it was reading 5 watts, so I'm gonna change resistors here, I'm gonna go up to 150 watt <laughs> 150 watt, 150 ohm resistor, it's only a quarter watt resistor and they uh, they get pretty hot pretty quickly so I have to keep Keep the uh, keep the dead key short. So we'll do a, a cal. And right, we got about a little over three dead key. And if you look at the meter, it's absolutely pegged out over five. So I'm going to switch to the 50 ohm setting. Let's see. Uh, it's seven or eight on the. If I'm just dead keying uh, four watts into the 50 watt setting, it usually goes up to about five. So this meter is uh, on the higher scales isn't accurate. Uh, I could go adjust the trim pots on the inside, but. Um, that's not really necessary. So w what did we see? We're above. We're looking at over five watts um, with that 150 ohm uh, load. Now, a dead key of three is not very good. If you're dead or a dead key of three, yeah, a, uh, an SWR of three isn't very good. If you're a two or under, that's a safe region to uh, to operate your radio. But uh, as we saw, if you're uh, you're measuring power uh, with your well connected to your antenna, it can skew the values a little bit. Now, the caveats to this are if you have a more sophisticated uh, meter like uh, for instance a bird 43 meter which is the uh, venerable uh, well-established meter for RF measurements uh, that has a directional uh, slug in it and so that slug can be uh, oriented to measure either forward or reflected power and so but it won't it'll ignore one or the other so you can safely measure uh, forward power into any load or you Ideally, you'd be able to, but it, it's still a good idea to use a dummy load or a an, uh, a known 50 ohm impedance. Uh, and so the other the other exception to this is if you have a, a more probably a more sophisticated like an MJF digital meter uh, that could take into account the SWR and um, knock off that power that extra power that's standing on the line as reflected waves. And uh, so it only it'll only measure the forward power or it'll calculate what the forward power is. Uh, and so I'm I actually have another video in the works, or that I'm planning that uh, hope you know hopefully we can take this SWR reading and the wattage reading and figure out what the forward power actually is. So uh, that that'll be a topic for another video if I can crack the code on the math and uh, and make it work. But uh, this is just a simple demonstration as to why uh, a, a known 50 ohm load is required for making uh, power measurements and modulation. I don't or, or other measurements. I'm not really sure how that would be affected, but. Uh, you know, if you're going to buy a meter, you may as well just buy a dummy load along with it. You know, if you can buy a $100 radio and a $40 meter, you can buy a $20 uh, dummy load. If if you do want to get into it and and start doing some tuning, it's a uh, it's a, a good tool to have. So anyway, that's all for now for this video. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.